Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Today I am bringing you a good sized little haul that I did recently with the, um, the Glamorous U collection, as well as just some other bars I threw in there as well. So the first thing I got is for my daughter, and it is the Posh Poodle Sensi Buddy. So I've got a Cloudberry Dreams scent pack to go inside of her, and I'm gonna open this up. The boxes the buddies come in are super nice. They actually have little handles here that are perforated that you can actually lift up so it's like a little travel carrier box for your buddy. So let's go ahead and see what this poodle looks like. Oh, she's so cute. She's very fluffy, very well stuffed. Um, she's got this nice little cape on and it's even lined, like the back of it is lined in like silk. So you can access her little back pocket there. She's got her little Scentsy patch there and super, super cute. Her little sparkly eyes and gray nose and a bow and her hands and feet are all shimmery as well. So she is super, super cute. My daughter's gonna like her. Um, my daughter hardly ever keeps the names the same so I highly suspect this is gonna become Pinky or something like that. <laughs> we'll see what she ends up naming her. But yes, yeah, super cute. Really like the uh, posh poodle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her scent pack in now. All right, so she's got her scent pack in now, and it is Cloudberry Dreams. And I'm noticing the scent pack is even more raspberry than the wax is. So if you're a big fan of raspberry, try Cloudberry Dreams in the scent pack. Um, really nice. So there's Posh Poodle and her little tail. I'm going to go ahead and put her to the side here now. So the next things I got were just a six pack of bars. Um, to kind of restock and to get ahead of the Christmas rush. So I did go ahead and get a bar of iced pine and very snowy spruce. I don't do a lot of tree scents in my home at the holidays, but it, I did want a bar of each. Yeah, so very snowy spruce is like a wintry pine scent. There is like a bit of a fresh air note to it just slightly. Um, yeah, it's like a sweeter pine scent with some fresh air. I like that one. And Iced Pine also has fresh air. I almost get like just a teeny tiny, like 5% hint of mint to it. Yeah, it's a nice one too. This one feels more like fir tree or something. I know it says pine, but I get like, it's kind of a deeper, a deeper pine. Whereas Berry Snowy Spruce is kind of a sweeter pine, I think, um, at least on cold. So we'll see how these warm. I'm not gonna be warming these until probably into November or December, but Got a bar of each of those. I grabbed a bar of salted caramel toffee. Yes, this one I'm gonna use for mixing, I think. I would like to try this with Spiced Ember Glow. Um, I did Spiced Ember Glow recently and I quite enjoyed it, but I think it'd be good for mixing as well. Um, I also wanna put this with like caramel apple craze. There's a lot of things I wanna mix this with, so grabbed a bar of that. Grabbed another bar of black raspberry vanilla. This is that dark berries and vanilla scent. I was running low, so I just picked up another bar. This is one that I like to just kind of have on hand. It's a good just grab, grab it when you're not sure what you want a warm kind of bar. Then I grabbed another bar of cozy cardigan. And this one is like suede, floral, vanilla coziness. It's very cozy, um, very feminine, a little bit perfumey, but not overly so. Um, I grabbed this from my office because um, I, well, actually I have one at home or I have one here at my office, but I wanted one for home too. So I think I'll probably do this one in my bedroom. And then I did grab another bar of Arctic Kiss. Again, I have one at my office here and I want one for home as well. So this one is that kind of melony, fruity, wintry scent. Yeah, it's a nice one. Very sweet, kind of candy-ish. Feels young to me, but I like it. And then I did grab a little keychain here. We have the um, Scentsy Icons keychain. I needed a keychain, so I grabbed this one. That was pretty cute. And then we have the little bag of the Glamorous U collection with its shiny decorations. And the bag is almost kind of like a ornate type, almost like fleur de -lis, sort of like fleur de -lis floral ornate design. So let's open this up. I've not smelled any of these yet. So these will be a first sniff. So I'll just go in order that they come out of the bag. 
So first of all here we have Born to Shine, which is nectarine and pear blossom take center stage while cashmere musk offers a warm enlivening encore. So based on that description, I'm expecting kind of a warm, fruity floral. And it is a warm, fruity floral. It's very perfumey. Okay, there's more of that nectarine on the top here, and it does kind of feel... I would probably guess it was peach, but it's peach or nectarine. And there is definitely musk here, and it's kind of a warm scent. It's kind of like a fall citrus, if that makes sense. If you can have a fall citrus, this might be it. Um, very perfumey again. And I was actually really um, considering not even getting this collection of wax, um, the Glamorous You collection. They all sounded good, but I don't tend to love florals, and it just didn't really appeal to me in that way. But then I looked at a few of them, and there was three or four that I was like, okay, that sounds like I might like it. So I did go ahead and get the five pack. Um, this will be one I probably wouldn't repurchase, but I do like it. I think I'll probably do this in my bedroom. For me, this feels more like a perfumey, like bedroom type scent. Um, I like it, I don't love it, we'll see. Next we have Dazzle Darling, and this is the pretty like, teal wax, and this kind of reminds me of like Audrey Hepburn style packaging, with the sunglasses and the uh, pearls and the coloring. I think that's what they were going for. So it's salted grapefruit catches some rays besides sparkling coastal waters and beach sage. I'm getting aquatic vibes from those notes. This might be an iffy one for me because aquatic scents and I don't usually mix. I like this one. This kind of reminds me of like lime runt candies. I get like lime runts, like you know those like little fruity candies? Okay, there's more of like a grassy note on top here. Is there lime in here? Must be the salted grapefruit I'm smelling. It's not a bitter grapefruit, it's very sweet. Yeah, I like this. This isn't as aquatic as I, was, as I was expecting. It's very fruity, quite sweet, and not overly perfumey either. So this one's a winner so far. Um, I don't know how strong this is going to be. It's kind of like a light medium in the packaging. This one was probably more of like a medium on cold. So yes, we'll see. Then we have Keep It Sassy with the hot pink wax. And Keep It Sassy is Sparkling Lemon brings out the sweet side of cherry blossom and sugar cane. So lemon, cherry blossom, and sugar cane. For some reason this is reminding me like it's I feel like it's probably going to be like a slightly floral version of the Cars Radiator Springs Bar with the cherry and the lemon. It's again perfumey. Like this smells like body care, like Bath and Body Works type. It's very sweet. It smells like a body spray that like a teenager would wear. I just made myself sound super old. Yeah, it's nice. It's like sweet and a little bit powdery. There is like a like a powdery, almost muskiness to it, but it's a sweet floral. Again, I would do this in a bedroom. It's like a light medium, maybe four or five out of ten um, for me on cold. Um, we'll see. Again, none of these are blowing me out of the water so far, but again, they could change on warm. And I don't dislike any of them so far, so we're doing okay. Now we have Sweet But Fierce with the pretty dress on the packaging and the kind of orchid purple wax. So Sweet But Fierce is Soothing Pink Jasmine and Sweet Violet get bold with a burst of crystallized sugar. This one intrigues me because I love violet sugar, I love sugared violet scents, but I hate jasmine. Let's find out. I like this a lot. Scentsy's Jasmine isn't like most Jasmines. I do find I can get away with Scentsy's Jasmine more than other Jasmine scents from other places. This is really nice. I love this. If you like like la lilac or lavender, or not lavender, if you like lilac or like some of those more realistic smelling florals, this smells like a fairly realistic floral. 
I don't know that it smells like sugared violets, but it does smell like a, like you're sticking your face in a bouquet of flowers, like real, like actual real life floral with some sweetness. I like this a lot. This one's very springtime to me. Not overly strong. Again, I'd say light medium. I would probably, I could see this one having headache potential, but I don't think it's strong enough to give headaches. So I think it might be okay. So again, I think bedroom for this one or a smaller like office space or something like that. Sweet but fierce. Then we have, last but not least, we have With Grace, which is gardenia blossoms, pink peony, and soft musk. So we're expecting a pretty heady floral, probably pretty feminine. Um, I do like peony. Gardenia is kind of iffy for me. Let's find out. First thing is it's sweet. I do get peony, but overall it's like more sweet. Oh, there's our gardenia, or gardenia, whoo. Gardenia is here and it's strong. If you like floral scents, if you like the, um, what was it called? Luscious Gardenia, I think with Grace will be up your alley. <clears throat> for me, this is probably my least favorite of the five, um, but it's okay. I would again do this in a bedroom or maybe an office. It's kind of like a medium strength, I think on cold. Um, just a little bit stronger on cold than the other ones. So I think in order of preference, they all kind of have a similar vibe to me, which I guess is why they're part of the same collection. They're all like fruity florals. Yeah, I like I like Sweet But Fierce. Keep it sassy. This one feels more summery to me, keep it sassy. Dazzle Darling, that one was good too. And be fat. Yeah, this one reminds me of a Bath and Body Works scent I had at one point. I couldn't tell you which one, but it's it reminds me of Bath and Body Works. So I think my favorites are going to be pretty close tie between um, Born to Shine and Keep and Sweet But Fierce. So those two are pretty close. I couldn't tell you which one I prefer. Um, they're fairly different. Then I think Dazzle Darling. Then Keep It Sassy. Although I do like this one a lot. I think if I had to, I'd say these two tie, then these two tie for second. And then With Grace would be my least favorite. But again, it's not bad. So there's my stack of five. And those are available still at this time. And you can buy them individually if you're only interested in one or two of them. And I think we can normalize that too. There's no reason we have to buy every collection or all of the things. If there's one bar from a collection you wanna buy, I like that Sensi is giving us the option to do that now. So you don't have to go out and buy the four other scents that you're not sure you'll like, you could just buy the one. Um, so that is an option. And yeah, I don't know. This scent to me is just kind of okay. Um, I will warm through them, I think, but I wouldn't necessarily put any of these in my club, I don't think, unless they change a lot on warm. Um, I do like the little bag though. I'll probably keep that and like use it for gifting or something at the holidays. That is my haul for today. Thank you for hanging out with me on my lunch hour here, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.